Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Line Cook here. I got a quick video for you guys here today and it's about what is in my saltwater fishing bag. I use this bag mostly when I'm surf fishing for bluefish, stripers, fluke, stuff like that. And I wanna show you guys what I use here in Jersey and how I target these fish. So let's get started and let's see what's in that bag. So this is uh, a lot of weights that I have and this is for mostly, you know, surf fishing with bait, stuff like that. You know, I want to. You want to make sure that if you're if you're using bait, and you know, this is actually I use this stuff for shark fishing as well. You want to make sure you have all kinds of different weights. So you know, this is an an eight ounce weight all the way down to I got fours here, sixes, fives, smaller stuff for fish finder rigs. These are great. You got to have a few of these. And then I got of of like a few different kinds of circle hooks and. Some, some bigger hooks, like ones like this, that probably good for smaller sharks. Yep, little bunker snag, gotta have one of those if you see some bunker. All right, that's the first box. All right guys, next box is the bucktail box. I have sizes ranging from a half ounce all the way here, all the way up to four, five, and six ounces. That one being six. Um, it's definitely good to have a bunch of different colors and sizes here. The, mo the ones that I use the most are between one to one and a half. I got some regular old jig heads here. These are great on a, on a uh, bucktail rig as a teaser. Put a little tiny little swim bait on there. I got um, more snap swivels, more uh, barrel swivels here, some smaller hooks, and some more uh, snap swivels here. And on this side, I got a bunch of different kinds of vertical jigs epoxy jigs stuff like that it's definitely good to have a nice assortment of these in different sizes these are great because they uh, cast out really far and they're awesome you can you can reel them back really quick or you can fish them on the bottom and jig them they're just awesome these things work really well it's good to have these next box is top water and this is an, this, these are a bunch of lures that I like to have around because they're, they're definitely awesome. I got over here some bigger poppers. You know, these are all Tsunami. This is a Tsunami talking popper. These are great. They got a lot of rattle in them. They make a lot of noise when they're on top. A bunch of different colors. A black pencil popper here on top. Regular old top water popper. And then some smaller six inch ones. These are really good too. All right, going into the top pouch here. And this is where I keep a lot of my, uh, some more hard baits. Yeah, I know it says ice fishing on it. It's an old box. All right, and in here, you know, I got some diamond jigs. These are great, some bombers. This is a bigger, a little bit of a bigger bait. Dives a little deeper. Some more bombers up here and you know a variety of sp minnows because these are great you know i love these colors you know this is awesome the purple great colors i also like just the regular old white this one this color has been doing real good for me this year as you can see it's kind of beat up it's a telltale sign that it's caught fish got to change out a bunch of these hooks they're getting a little bit rusty but that's definitely on the list of things to do but yeah different sizes of sp minnows gotta have them what's great about this bag is this can double as a little bit of a cooler so if you need to bring bait out you know you could throw a little ice pack in there and that that works out as that but usually i also use it for extra storage so in there i have if i'm on a pier or something and you know just a big old snagging hook that's good to have a pair of good pliers with some line cutters on there. I also got another little hook removing device here. Good miscellaneous stuff. And also, you know, for shark fishing, gotta have some wire leader. That's a huge rig. Don't really use that too much. But the wire leader, balloon fishing, I'm getting into that this year. I'm gonna try that out, see if that works for sharks as well. Yep, that's what's in there. All right, and in this bottom pouch, got a bait knife, another pair of pliers, scale, a 
good old tape measure. And up top, I got beads up on the top. These are really great to have because it creates less friction on the line. You know, kind of helps protect your knots a little bit. So I use these when I, when I make bottom rigs too. Got some miscellaneous stuff here. And that consists of some glow sticks at night, circle hooks, more wire leaders, big old circle hooks for shark fishing. Some nice quality swivels, gotta have these, really good quality. Some tactical anglers clips, cause that's awesome, that, that helps your bait have a little bit of better action. And then I got uh, some, uh, some thread, if you have to thread some clam or some, kind of, some soft kind of bait, got some stuff like that. And that's what's up there. All right, this is the soft plastic pocket, got some otter tails there. Good old fish bites, gotta have some of that. Swim baits, little ones, these are great. And then this is just, uh, I keep it in a Ziploc bag because it gets smelly. This is a bunch of gulp. Different colors, that's awesome to have. You know, it's good trailer, good to use in general. So, gotta get yourself some gulp. Last pocket here, and that's the leader pocket. And this is, I'll keep, uh, I got 60 pound mono leader and I use that for bluefish 100 pound shock leader that's for shark fishing and then if you need if I need something lighter I keep 20 pound fluorocarbon that's most of the leader that comes with me on the surf um, if I know that I'm going to walk long distances I'll usually take some of those heavier weights out because that'll really weigh it down but you know it's pretty compact and it's it's a good bag it's pretty comfortable to wear you can pretty walk pretty far with it She's a good bag. All right, guys, so that's it. That's usually what I use to uh, get it done on the New Jersey surf with lures. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you're looking to get into surf fishing and or you're already into surf fishing and you're wondering what kind of lures to get, this is what I have and this is what gets it done for me. If you guys wanna see more cool stuff in the future, fishing, recipes, awesome stuff like that, please subscribe down there and don't miss out because there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming soon. I wanna thank you guys again for watching. It's been great making these videos. And I'll see you next time on the live cook.